Welcome to an out of the box set up and play video. Today I am going to set up and start playing through Zombie Side Gear Up. This is a new flip and write game in the world of Zombie Side. Um, so I'm going to be playing it solo. It is one to six players, but I am going to be playing it solo. So let's get going. First thing you need to do is pick a character. So there are six different characters. These are all double sided. Um, and I'm going to play one player, so I will pick the one player side. So we'll get rid of those. Now I need a boss to fight against. Um, there are six different bosses of two different um, difficulties. So I'm going to go with the starter game. So I'm going to play against the Super Abomination. So this is a flip and write game. So you will have a pen that has an eraser on the top. And you draw on stuff. So, first thing we need to do is set up our environment. So, we've got a guide, guide card. We've got black zombies. So, these are your standard zombies, zombie dogs, runners, walkers, and crawlers. We'll give them a bit of a shuffle. Might rearrange those in a minute. We'll see how we go. And um, we have our red zombies, which are soldiers, stinkies, bombers, Brutes. So these are our more vicious zombies that have come out. These are shiny, so we're going to be writing on those. So I haven't sleeved those. Other things we need out of the box is our spawn card. So this comes in black and red flavors for harder or easier. That'll become obvious later. And then we have our card flips. So the, each game has... Um, Two rounds and in each round we flip over nine cards um, and that will become obvious in a second so we'll set it up for the first round so um, there are ten of these cards of which each round we use nine of them so I have actually sleeved these with some square 70 by 70 sleeves because they get a bit of a shuffle and they flip over so we lay them out we need nine of these so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so they determine what happens in each of our two rounds. So we have nine turns. The one we didn't put in goes back in the box. They'll get shuffled in um, next round when we do the second round. Each turn, something happens with the zombies. So there are seven boss cards which you play in round two but in round one we take our seven zombie cards basically and they either spawn a zombie um, in a different location which we'll get to in a minute so we'll give those a shuffle and they get laid out from right to left so they go along here and each one of these is going to get triggered each turn and so we basically get two turns when nothing's happening and then the zombies start spawning. Okay, so this is, I'm playing solo. So in solo, I get three friends. Um, and I'm gonna shuffle them up and take them randomly. And I usually stick them on the side. Oh, I can't have Skylar because I'm playing with her. So we'll have Yara, Ethan, and Bradley with his lawnmower. They us go back in the box. Good, good. And these ones I'll put over here with the boss because he will only come out turn two. There are a whole lot of um, cards for spawning that have the number of players on them from up from one to six. So I don't need any of those because I only need the spawn card for one player. Um, and that is double-sided for hard versus easy. And you determine that by the, the kind of start card. So for easy, I would start with two spawning. I'll be using the black side and I would use the black side of the super abomination. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for standard. I played standard last time and got absolutely toasted. So we'll go for standard, so it means we're going to start with one black and one red spawning. I'll get to that in a second. And I'm using the red.
red side in the super abomination, which is much harder. And we'll worry about that in a minute. And then I flip that over because that has my steps. You've also got the steps and the layout summary on the rules booklet, which is really handy. So, um, in terms of what happens with the zombies, is we have three street locations, and depending on their movement icon, they may move when we do some of the flipping. Um, and so, if we look at our character card, it's got a set of weapons. Our default weapon is the golden one. Um, all of the abilities that it might use on the weapons, you've got on the card if you want to look them up. We've got life, which will slowly run out, and then we've got shields and ammo that we can collect during the game, which we'll see momentarily. So why don't we get rid of the box, um, and I will grab my marker, and we'll flip our first card. So the turn basically goes, we do a reveal, and this reveal is we're using the green weapon, so my M16A4, I can only use that. I know that zombies with the double arrow are gonna move, so the zombie dog's gonna move, but Stinky isn't, so we can prioritize what we shoot. Um, because it's got a happy face, I can use one of my helpers, my friends, that have come with me. Um, only cards with a happy face triggers those, so you best to use them when you can. Um, and at the end of the, each round, so at the end of round one, they'll all refresh. So you might as well use them when you can. So the way the combat works is you'll see these kind of these Tetris shapes. Um, they fill in the zombie. Um, if you decide you can't fit a shape in, um, because you can't have shapes that overlap over um, different turns, and they can't go outside the borders, you can just do a single, so not use the shape and do a single, which is a bit of a waste. Um, as you fill in things, um, they, the stars are the attack value with the zombie, so if you fill in the stars, they can't attack so much, and if you fill in something like a shield or a bullet, you get to mark it, and you can use that. So you can use shields to stop yourself from getting hurt, and then you can use bullets to shoot out extra ones. So we're on green and we've got a friend. So my green standard is a T-shaped and these Tetris shapes, it's a bit like a mental geometry. You can move them in any, flip them, mirror them, spin them around. Some of them have got special features so you can actually split them. Um, and let's have a look and see what we can do. So we've got a T, which we could use, um, and I could use one of my friends. So what we can do is, say I'm gonna use my T, I'll flip it around and I'll do it to the zombie dog. So that's my T shape and I got a shield so I get that straight away. Then I'm going to use one of my happy faces, my friends, I'm going to use adrenaline, I'll use Yara. So I'll flip Yara and I get an L. So that'll allow me to do the L that way. So that's not too bad. End of the round. So that's my attack. If I'd killed any a zombie, I could tick the upgrade box on the weapon that I used. Um, each box has a double upgrade and that then that then gives you extra ability. So it's good to upgrade your upgrade your weapons before you get to round two. Zombies walk, so they will walk whatever's been flipped. So He'll move down to location two. If a zombie ends up at location one and it gets a activation, they'll attack with whatever stars they've got available. So that zombie would only attack me for one at the moment because I've killed off two of those. That's okay at the moment. Um, then we do a spawn phase, um, but we don't have flipped over any spawn cards because we're only in the first turn. So we go to second turn when you do our next flip. And we're now using the blue weapon and nobody's going to be moving so that's a bit of a relief so i can look at my blue which is my ak-47 um and it's got two times so i can do two flats so that's fairly easy um i think you have to do them on the same target i haven't looked that up but i'm going to assume you do so i'm going to just do my two on the dog bomb so he's dead which means I get to do an upgrade so I can tick the upgrade 
which gets me an extra one. So next time I use my AK-47, I'll have three um, areas I can fill in, which is handy. Um, so that was my upgrade. Zombies aren't walking. There's no spawning. Next turn. Things get a lot busier later on. Okay. So this is actually really good. Because I've got a friend and I've got a red. Red is my concrete saw. Um, and I can also use one of my friends. Which I could, if I can spin that one around. Does that work? Yeah, that'll be good. So I'll use my Ethan. You can use your... Your, um, oh, Ethan can split as well, so he can split his shape into different things, but I'm not going to have to bother with that, I don't think. What am I doing? Concrete saw. Yeah, okay, so I do an Ethan, and that'll allow me to do that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, so that's him used. With that, I will get two more shields, which I'll cross off later when I need them. Then I'm using red, so I'm using my concrete saw, which is a left. So I'm going to do down there, and I'll get a bullet. And I can now use that bullet to fill in something else, but I've only got one. If I had two, I could do that, and I could kill that zombie, which would be really handy. Um, Okay, so um, that's the end of my attack. I didn't kill anyone, so I can't do an upgrade. The zombie that walks is none, because he's a single. And then we do our first spawn, so we flip this. And we're going to get a B. And a B spawn is going to be one black. And that will spawn it third level zombie dog and so these different cards determine the spawning and then you've got that randomization then we do our next flip turn number four so we've got a blue attack and we know the dog, zombie dog's going to move we've got our ak-47 i think i'm going to use that on my dog because i've got three so i can go one two three because I've got the upgrade I get an extra bullet um, and you know what I'm going to use those two bullets on stinky and I'm just going to have to check the rules for stinky because the um, the red ones have got special features I don't think he's going to do anything bad to me but I should check no bad smell. If the stinky is the any creature on final survivor, each other zombie in front of that survivor counts as having an extra one. Okay, that's fine, because I've just killed him. So he's dead. Which means I can now upgrade my AK, because I use that when I'm blue. And that means I get an extra bullet. Then the zombie dog is going to move to street level 2. And we get to flip over a spawn. And it's another two B. So that's another single one here. Crawler. Okay, so then it's next flip. Happy face. So it'll be Brady. Oh, okay, that's a good one. So he does his attack up the whole street. He's got a lawnmower. So we'll use him. So he'll do a two on my dog, and then a two on my crawler. And that's going to get me a bullet. Then I can, what are we doing? We're doing blue. So I've got my AK-47, and I've got three of those. So I can go one, two, three. And I'm going to use, I didn't cross off those bullets, did I? I used two bullets before, I forgot that. So I'll cross those off now. I'll cross off my, my other one to kill off the dog. So he's gone. Which I guess was a bit of a waste because I've already upgraded my AK-47. But never mind. 
Then uh, zombie move, and we are on singles, so the crawler crawls up a bit more. And we do our spawn. And it's an A, which is a single. We are playing it on standard. It's got three levels of, four levels of difficulty, goes up to nightmare. Um, okay, but of course I've used all my friends, so we'll have to see how we go now. Next turn. Green. So that's my M16 A4. Um, okay, so I could either use it on my crawler or that one or I could use it on this one which I think I will so rather than taking the shape I can just take it as a single hit we'll take out that crawler but the advantage of that is when I do the upgrade I've now upgraded because I've killed a zombie that round with that gun and I really wanted to upgrade nobody's moving and we um, flip it so we just get another black one. Next round. Red, which is my concrete saw. Um, I'm gonna spin that around. Oh, it's got a... Oh, there's a knockback. So, but that's they're already in the back row, so I don't really care about that. Um, I'm gonna do it on my crawler. Spin it around that way, because then I get a bullet. I need to save some bullets up for the um, zombie boss. Um, that's all I can do. The zombie dog will move. It'll spawn. And the horde is starting to appear. Okay, and now we've got another red one. So I can do that on my dog. I think I'll do it this way. Fill that in because I get a shield that way. And it does not knock back, so that'll knock them back. But you can have an unlimited number of zombies at any level. Okay, so now he'll move back again because he's doing a. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. It's a single this time, so the two crawlers will come forward. And we've got flip, and we get C, which is a red one. So I might have been using my little friends a bit too prematurely, because I'm starting to stack up. Okay, so last one for this round is green. And green is my M16A4. I'm not going to be able to kill anyone, but it's got the upgrade of the bullet. So for every star it crosses off, I gain an extra bullet. So I really want to maximize my number of stars, which isn't entirely great. But also I have to remember that um, it's going to get a bit messy next round. So what I think I'll do is I'll attack this crawler. If I do my Simple there, I get one from the crawler, and I get an extra bullet for the star. And that's handy. Um, then they're going to move, so the singles are coming forward. So they'll both attack me next round unless I can kill them. And then we, um, another C, heck. So that's the end of the first round. So all of these get swept up. They're done for this game. And we put the one we didn't use back into the rest. And we give those a shuffle. But now we're on to round two. So we shuffle those, we put those out again for nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Together so they fit in. So that gives us nine. One goes back in the box. Our friends get turned over because they're viable again for round two. And then we get the, the boss card. So the bosses have got two types. They've got a, a gold and blue. We shuffle those 
and they go on the right side. So they're the ones we're going to hit closer to the end. And then we've got the standard gold ones. Give them a shuffle. So they go back down. And the super abomination has arrived. And you'll notice with him, he's got a lot of stars. Um, and so if he attacks with stars, all of them attack you. So your health goes down really fast. The, he's vicious when he attacks. And when you get to the blue ones, the blue ones count as well. So we've really got to knock out some of those stars. But I'm in, I'm in grief at the moment. <laughs> Standard game is hard. I should have played easy. Anyway, so we're going with red. So I can do some knockback, which is handy. Um, and I think I will do that to this guy. Oh, I'm going to get hit. So, okay, I'm going to do a... Do a L on that one, which is my saw. That'll do a knockback. He'll go forward. Then we do zombie walk. So he can't go any further, so he'll attack me. So he's got two stars, he's got a standard one and one that I could have taken off, so I'm gonna lose two health. Easy as that. This one's gonna come forward, this one's gonna come forward. And it's the end of that round. Uh, I'm in grief now. Okay, so second turn, oh, green. So that's my big gun. I'm gonna have to kill some of these guys. And now this is tricky because I can't draw the shape in either of those. Um, that's, oh, I might just have to take the hits. Okay, so I'm gonna use it on the bomber. He's gonna explode when he goes, which is not gonna be pretty. Actually, I should probably do it on him because he's gonna come in any minute soon. So I'm going to do it on the super. So I'll take out that. So I take out two of the stars and I get a shield. So we're doing green. He's going to move down. Those two are going to attack me for one, two, three, four. This is going to be a quick game. Wow. Okay. Way I got my happy face. Okay, so I think we're going to be doing the chainsaw guy because he does somewhere in every slot. Bradley. And he does the super. So he does a double. So the best place to do a double would be this one because I can. What are we doing? Oh, we're doing a double. So none of those are moving. But I need to kill them off. So we'll do a two on him. We will do a two on the soldier, because that'll get me another bullet. We'll do a two on the super abomination, because that will get me a shield. And he's done. We still haven't done our one, so we're doing the concrete saw. Um, we can't use it on either of those, but we can do it on the bomber and you will push back. So we're going to do it and get a bullet, I think. So I'll do the L on there and push him back. Which just gives me a bit of breathing space. Um, then I'm going to use some bullets to kill off um, this one. So I'll use one bullet, which will kill off that guy means I can upgrade my concrete saw um, and then it's walking which is a double so it's the dog and the soldier come down and then we flip this and hope it's not an attack oh I'm dead okay so this is super abomination attacks for all the gold stars. So he's going to attack me for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got two shields left. So technically, I got a bit enthusiastic there. I would really have not done those two. 
and I have my shields dead. So I've got two health left. I thought I was going to die. Not too bad. We survived to do another run. Oh, um, and we sometimes these cards have spawn, so they sometimes attack and spawn. This was just an attack by by the boss. Okay, so now it's blue, and the doubles are going to move. I wonder what happens when the um, bomber explodes, whether he blows up his own people. That would be well worth checking the rules on that one. Bomber walking, blah, blah, blah. when it attacks, the scards. Uh, okay, no, he just explodes when he um, attacks with a number of stars and then he dies. Okay, so we're doing AK, which is pretty good. We get extra bullets when we cross off stars. Um, and we've got three of them. Who's moving? The doubles are moving, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to have to have a go at this guy. So we're going to take one, two, and we'll do three, because I've got a shield. And I've got three stars, so I'll get three bullets. Um, I'm going to use two of those bullets to knock off another two stars. Actually, I'm going to use up all my bullets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because otherwise I'm going to be dead. Probably still can be. Okay, so now it's movement. And it's a double, so it means the zombie dog's going to move and the soldier's going to move. Oh, I've got nowhere to run. Okay, and then we roll this and we get that one. I have to look that one up. Oh yeah, but each um, each enemy's got a um, special ability and it triggers, so they're all different. And this is um, when his one it triggers, I lose two shields. So I'm going to lose my last shield. That I picked up, which is a shame. Um, and we did Spawn B, which is another one of these. So I get another. So things aren't looking, aren't looking good. If I don't get a happy face, I'm in real trouble. Well, there we go, happy face. So what can we do? Um, who's moving? That's the biggest question. So the soldier's going to attack, and the zombie dog's going to attack. If we go with Ethan, we can split it. And we're attacking with our gun. Whew. Okay, we can't split our gun. So why don't we do a reverse on the gun? And we'll do it on the soldier. Now we get one bullet. Um, and he gets another bullet because of the star. Um, if we use Ethan... He can't split it on there, but he can split it on the dog, can't he? So we could do a, a two. You can split it into, sh into two shapes. We can't do the dog. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Now we'll do it on the do it on the big guy. I don't think I'm gonna be dead anyway. Maybe we'll use the other one, we'll do the L. Does that help me? That's probably better, we'll use Yara. Do the Yara on that one. And he's done. And then I will use two bullets, which will kill off my soldier, which means I get an upgrade. Um, but then the zombies walk, and it's going to be the doubles. So the dog's going to attack me for three, and I'm dead. Yeah. So I died anyway. Uh, if we'd turned this over, I would have lost two shields, and he would have attacked me for one, two, three. So I was really dead. So there you go. Um, that's standard. It does... I think I'm going to have to play a game on easy. Um, then there's also a hard and a nightmare. 
there's six different characters, six different, um, completely different um, bosses. There you go. That is Zombicide Gear Up. Rather bad game, but hey, it's good fun. Oh, before I go, and this stuff is really easy to clean off. You just get your little pen and it rubs off like a charm. All ready for next game.